Today, we're gonna make one of these. It's an LED light wand. In the end, there's a little blue LED, and you can turn them on both at the same time. Gotta learn some spells. I've also done a red version, which is pretty cool. It's got a green LED, it's the blue. They look amazing, and they're a heap of fun to play with. So continue watching to see how to build your own. The handle's made from some 15 mil PVC pipe. If you're in the US, you could use three quarters. That would work fine as well. The hole needs to be able to accommodate a small LiPo charger. And for the 15 mil, it fits perfectly inside. You can see there, uh, it also needs to accommodate uh, a small LiPo battery as well. And the 15 mil tube works really well with that too. You also need a couple of caps, one for each end. And this makes up the handle. Okay, now it's time to drill a hole in the center of this cap. And that's where we'll put the polystyrene tubing. Uh, I used three quarter inch polystyrene tubing initially uh, in this hole, and this adds a small support. So go ahead, push that into the hole uh, and make it kind of even with the bottom of the cap. Next, you gotta add some hot glue, which I've done here. Be liberal with it. You wanna add as much as you can. Run the hot glue around the edge of that tubing and you'll find that um, you won't get any on the inside of the cap. Go ahead and trim that three quarter inch tube. I left about 30 mils on the ends. And now you can use a 3 sixteenths of an inch tube and push that through that larger one. Add some super glue along the edge where I'm pointing. And then once that's added, you can just slowly pull the tube through and that will pull the super glue through. Dab a little bit around the top section as well to really make it secure. That's the first section of the one made. Now we can uh, move on to the LEDs. The filament LEDs that I used in this build are 300 mils in length. This is a yellow one. And what you need to do firstly is to attach a very fine copper wire to the end there. And what I used was some wire from an old like three volt motor. Just pulled the motor apart and inside there's some super fine uh, copper wire that works perfectly in this project. You need to be able to thread this wire through the tube and the thinner the better because if it's too thick, once the light comes through, you'll see the wire and you can see this wire's like it's about as thick as hair. Before soldering, you need to remove some of the enamel on this copper wire. I use a file, just run it across a few times uh, and it seems to do the job quite well. Now it's a time to attach that copper wire to the positive on the filament. The easiest way to do this is to actually wrap it around that solder point. When you're trying to add the LED as well as this bit of wire, um, it comes really hard. So go ahead, wrap it around and then add a little bit of solder just to keep that in place. And it'll make a really good, strong bond. Trim the positive leg on the three mil LED, your choice of color, tin that and then connect the positive from the filament to the three mil leg. You can go and trim the negative leg on the three mil LED and then add some of that copper wire to that section as well. And that's all of the copper wiring that you'll need to add. I forgot to mention that you do need to remove that little bottom lip you can see on the LED. You can use some like wire cutters to cut it off. Um, a file, a small file will do as well, but you do need to remove it or it won't fit into the small tube. To protect all those solder points and solder joints, I've added some heat shrink around those points. Hopefully it'll add a little bit of strength, but it'll also stop any possible short circuits happening. Add a bit of wire to the negative on the filament. And now you can thread those wires through the top of the 3 16th tube. Just uh, carefully, slowly thread those three wires through. Pull out any kinks that you might see. You can see I've got a kink there. And then once it comes through the other end, you can just carefully pull those wires, making sure that they're not kinked up as you can see. And then once they're pulled through, pull it until the LED comes to the top section. Go ahead and push that three mil LED inside the tube. It should lock everything into place and then do some testing. I recommend testing the LEDs outside the tube and then giving it a test within the tube as well. 
going through my collection of micro switches, I found a couple that I thought would work really well. Two little white ones. So these will turn the LEDs on and off. To be able to connect the switches to the handle, I drilled some holes and the little legs on those switches go straight through those holes. Uh, to be able to wire everything up, you need to add a couple of wires through each of those holes. You can see I threaded those through. You then need to solder a switch leg onto each of those wires. You can see that I've done that there. So the next step is getting that top section inside the tube. So you need to thread the two negative wires, which is the one coming out from the filament and the one coming out from the three mil LED through those holes and they're gonna be connected to the switches. So uh, it was easy, the large one, but the smaller one, I just kind of thre threaded some larger wire through, hooked it around and I kind of just fished it out. It worked fine. You can now start to connect the top section to the handle. Just slowly keep on pulling on the wires and um, pushing that lid on. You want to make sure that you don't get any kinks or break or break them at this stage because you're pretty much going to have to start again. Once that's done, you can start to work on attaching those switches to the PVC. You just going to thread the wires through, add a little bit of glue, and you can see the glue in its place there. A really good solid fit. Uh, and then also go ahead and test the LEDs. So there's the blue one and then the filament inside. The charging module needs to be super glued to the battery. So just add a bit of glue and make sure that the USB is facing outwards. Solder the negative and positive wires to the solder points on the charger. And that step is complete. I had a 10 ohm resistor as well to the uh, module. I actually had two in parallel, so that's five, uh, five ohms. And I've also added a little heat sink on the battery. Uh, I'm gonna put the resistors across that and that will stop the battery from possibly getting hot. Um, the resistors can heat up a little bit if the uh, light's held on for a long time. So adding the resistors in parallel like this will uh, help prevent that. And one of the caps on the handle, you need to make a, a groove and this allows you access to the micro USB. You can kind of see me lining it up there. So once it's all lined properly, you can glue the battery and the module into place. Now, once this is glued in, you can't get it out. So make sure you've tested everything and everything's working well. Just testing the USB, making sure it works okay. And the light comes on and all good. So that's it. Now it's time to uh, mess about with your magic wand. Push the button, one of the buttons, top button. Oh! oh. Now wave it around. Ah. <laughs> there you are, go and get yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> get oh, yours, man. Oh, wow, that's Take awesome. it out, push the top button. Oh. Yeah. Push the other button, Wait. see what happens. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Lightsabers! <laughs> you can't fight, you can't fight with them though, they'll break. They're ones. Yeah. Magic ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should probably have the green one. Yeah. Blue one's awesome. Yes. Yeah, Let's yeah. have a look. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Yes. Magic fire sparks. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Make a spell. Make a spell. Yeah, so you can be Harry Potter or you can be Luke Skywalker. Yeah, both at once. Nice. Blind daddy, blind him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see.